How's it going, YouTube? Uh, this is the Chaos here. Uh, we got you, and uh, we actually have a decent video for you guys today. Uh, well, Sexy Dream Pirate recently got in his Dragon Strike uh, collection kit thingy and two booster boxes. So what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to open this one for you. I'm going to open one of the, uh, or Dream Pirate's going to open up one of the actual boxes for you, and I think we're both going to open up the last one, or it's going to be me, or whatever. We haven't figured that one out completely yet, but I'm going to go ahead and open this one for you. Much better than using my teeth. Alright, first off, these little things, they gave you this, um, if you've seen any funny television show where they're all like, look at the pictures of my kid, then it's just wallet, for the. that's basically what this is. So we don't really care too much for it, but thank you. And another thing with every, oh, with there, there's every, a secret. There's a secret. I forgot who put it up, but apparently, if you bend them at the corners or something like that, they'll pop, they'll fall out. There we are. All right. I forget who it was who put on a YouTube video about it. Actually, that's where I'll put all these. And with these uh, collector's kits. They give you three copies of each promo. Well, not of each promo, but of two promos. Uh, they give you three copies of Hammer Dragon of uh, uh, Falbjorn. Uh, basically, I don't know, really know these cards, so I'll have to look and read them off myself. He's seven for six, double breaker, and uh, he has a little something called Draconic Roar, which is one of the attacks. You reveal the top card of your deck. Okay, it's basically top deck, and if it's a non-Evo Dragon, you special summon it to the field. Yeah. Otherwise, it goes on the bottom of your deck. And then they gave us three copies of Necro Dragon of Vile Liquor. He's uh, Darkness. We got some glare. Does he? There we go. All right. He's nine for seven thousand. He's also a double breaker. Uh, he's a Slayer. Nine for seven, so K. Okay. Um, he's also got something called Acidic Breath, and that's when he enters the battle zone. She's one of your opponent's shields for each dragon you have in the zone. And you break those shields. So if you have five dragons, you break five shields. So you can kind of get that. Um, I'm not. A, I'm a. I like Darkness Civ. I think there's somebody in Wizards of Coast that's knows how to speak per se. Basically, that can manipulate them to making like the perfect mono Civ. And I think that the only, probably the only Civ that can do a monochrome deck and come out on top majority of the time is the darkness, but I think that card's kind of shit. Okay, also what they have in here is a, what is this, like a list? I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's oh, a it's list a, of all the new shit they added. Yeah, it's a list of, are they current dragons? Bestial Rage, Tash, Bolgash, Yeah, they, they, they were current, okay, so it, it's, yeah, they were current. it's pretty... Just dragons exciting. in general. Yeah. Anything that has dragon on it, it's on here. It's just a little check this off if you've gotten it. So I'm going to put those in here. Okay, and also they included this cool little slidey box. So basically we have we now have the equivalent of the magic boxes. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. And they give you four packets of rise. I'm going to go ahead and open these for you. Not with the razor blade, but with my own human hands. And who knows, maybe we'll get something out of here that's worth a two shits. Another Gloom Hollow. Razor Kinder Puppet. Radiant. Really? No, yeah. I would. That'd be nice. Yeah. <laughs> Top card was a Radiant. That would be intense. Super rare, super rare, super rare. Alright. So, to start this one off, we have Memory Swarm, Rock Bite, Magris the Magnetizer. We got a Fumes, an Argus, a Launcher Locust. Hey, we got a Razor Kinder Puppet. Sweet. Go ahead and put that over there. Uh, Rising Bone Ghoul and Brave Giant. So, we just got a razor killer. I nailed that one, didn't yeah. I? Yeah. There you go. Too much light still? Uh, we were getting quite a bit of glare on some of those cards, I think. At least that's what it showed up as. Alright, now for the second pack. We got a Knowledge Warden. Not that I know many people that care for him. I don't think anybody does. Nope. Uh, we got a Nimbus Scout. We got a Grave Scrounger, who I recently learned is amazing if you're running a rush deck. Yeah, our uh, our sealed 
tournament Friday night uh, consisted of four packs of DSI and a single pack of Rise. And Chaos pulled Grave Scrounger and ran a very good rush. Came in second. Okay, very second. good rush. See, then we got a Razor Hide, a Blaze Belcher, a Rare, and here's a Thought Probe, Blast Forge Slaver, Frog Zooka, and Essence Elf. Okay. Hello. Down it goes. Seems like everybody's started to stray away from, well, at least a lot of the deck profiles that are going up in the past few days of the 6 DSI era are straying away from Razor Hide and Sinishaw. That's because they're forgetting their roots. Yeah. Alright, starting this one off, we have an Argus, a Pyro Trooper, Snapper Mosquito, Buoyant Blowfish, Covering Fire, the rare Splinter Claw Wasp. It's not bad. The very rare is Midnight Crawler. Trade we got Lager. a Barrage. Gotta love Barrage. And Teleport. Last pack. Let's see if we can get a super rare out of here just for S and G's. Not too concerned for it because I'm not going to be greedy. Two varies out of three packs is pretty good. Yeah. All right, we have a Pyro Trooper, Snapper Mosquito, Buoyant Blowfish, Covering Fire, Flame Aura. Rare in this one is Void Wing. No super. We got Breach the Veil, Barrage, and S itself. Now the Barrage. Oh, we got some good stuff for. The six DSI Firebirds everywhere. Uh, uh, put these in two different piles. Put that random bullshit here. Put the rares in there with the promos. All right. Signing off. <laughs>